Hello internet friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. This one's, uh, I hope, going to be rather quick and it has to do with um, objects that are appearing on floors that you necessarily don't necessarily want them to. Uh, for In this case, when I hit F6 on my keyboard, oh by the way, I'm working in Chief Architect Premier version X10, I'm pretty sure this will work all the way back to X8. Um, maybe even X7. Um, when I hit F6 on my keyboard, I've got it set up that it will zoom all of the objects. And you'll notice it doesn't zoom onto the um, house uh, because there is this millwork object right out here, which happens to be the keystone above this window in, in the uh, gable here. So I'm going to close that and hit F6. And I'd really rather this not to be showing up on here. Um, I could do a couple different things. I could put it on a different layer. It's on the millwork layer right now. I could turn the millwork layer off, but I want to see these corbels. Um, so I, my tip is I, I change it. Um, I don't put it on a different layer. Uh, I change the um, floor that it's on. Now, by default, it's going to go from finished floor. 73 and 3 quarters inch to the top from the finished floor. I don't want it, if I change the level, if I put it up on the third floor, or, excuse me, down on the first floor, I don't want it 73 and 3 quarters from those finished floors. So I'm going to quickly change this from to go from finished floor to choose absolute. Now it automatically, Chief will automatically tell us what that absolute number is. At the top it's 196 and 3 eighths. If I leave it at absolute, then it won't change no matter what level, I, floor level, I put it on. So I'm going to choose absolute and click OK. Now I'm going to Command X. I'm on a Mac, so uh, if you're on a PC, use Control. Control X will cut it, and I don't want it to show up on third floor either. I want it to show up in the attic, so I'm going to Command Option V. If you're on a PC, it'd be Control Option V. And let's take a quick uh, rendering of the exterior, and you'll see that it's still on the same elevation because I did that absolute. It's right where I need it to be on the on the uh, window, and that's fantastic. It, my second floor in F6, and now we're centered. That's where I want it to be, and all is well. So again, my tip is open the object change the uh, elevation um, number or reference to absolute and then you can uh, cut it and paste it on whatever floor level you'd like and it's going to stay at the same elevation in the rendering and elevation views that uh, you need it to. Hey, I hope this has been helpful. If you've learned something or appreciate the information I give here, uh, gave here today, I would I would appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. As always, subscribe and you'll get notifications of these videos each week as I release them. As always, have a wonderful week.